Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CJ and I'm going to try my best to do a quick and thorough review on this Garnier Fruities leave-in conditioner that I recently purchased earlier this month because the original leave-in that I usually purchase for myself was out completely out in stores or in the store that I was at at the time so yes I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a review and comparison of the two and give you guys my final thoughts so um, so yes I tried my best to find this original um, I already said before that I was not going to try to do any more reviews or not to do as many reviews as before because I love what's in my regiment. But yes, they did not have my original product. So here this is. And this is the new Garnier Whole Blends um, Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner with Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Extracts. Um, it's also um, paraben-free. And um, it's... On the bottom it says, Generous Leave-In Treatment Deeply Nourishes to Smooth and Soften. Um, it was a little difficult for me to read. One, because the writing's a little small. Two, because it's written on this really shiny like sticker area and the light from the my computer area and my room is reflecting. So it's a little difficult for me to read. But yes, um, both of these... I purchased at Walmart and both of these have 10.2 ounces. I'm going to pour, or I'm not pour, but I'm going to squeeze a little bit of each product on my middle and index finger and show you guys the difference between the two visually. And um, I will come back with my final thoughts. Alright you guys, I am back. So on my index finger, I have the Garnier, the original Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Leave-In. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this... Um, this line has a slightly yellow hue to it, as you can see right here, and um, just um, smearing that product down my um, finger a little bit, you can really see that it is really, I don't want to say thin, well I guess I will. It's a little on the thinner side, um, it's creamy but a little thin, and um, I don't see a lot of bulkiness going on there. Okay, now when we go on to my middle finger, um, which has the whole blend Garnier for Taste Leave-In, um, this color is a little more on the white side, um, and it is a little more on the bulky side. Um, or I don't want to say bulky, but it's a little more creamy, it's a little thicker than the original line that I am sharing here. Um, give me one second. Alright, I'm back. I had to say goodbye to love my life. Okay, so I'm going to um, show you guys the product again once more by itself. Um, so yeah, this product is a little, it's slightly thicker than the original. Um, this is more on the slightly thicker creamy side. Um, so... I like it as well. It's really nice. I don't need much of a slip for my leave-ins or any kind of conditioner, honestly, because I mostly detangle out of the shower before and after washing my hair. So having a conditioner with an amazing slip um, isn't all of that important to me. Um, if I had to compare slip-wise which one ranks higher, this one definitely ranks higher in the slip, um, only because this um, leave-in is slightly thinner than this one right here. Um, when it comes to the smell, um, these two um, products have a completely different scent from one another. This one is very fruity. There's apricot in here and a whole bunch of other really good smell good stuff. Um, to me, this has a very kick in your face, loud, fruity, um, smell good, feel good type of smell. Um, very girly, um, very loud, but very good. Like it smells really good though. I have nothing bad to say about it. I love using this product, especially when I'm in the bathroom or even in my room. Once after I use it, I can smell it in my room and it smells fantastic. I love this on my children's hair. Um, nice slip. 
Um, even though I really don't necessarily need it, it's still nice nonetheless, and it does moisturize my hair besides the smell. This really does moisturize my hair. Um, it just adds a little bit of an extra something that my hair needs throughout the week. And so, yeah, um, I can definitely say the same when it comes to its moisture, despite this one not exactly having um, as much slip as the original line here. This one does moisturize my hair very, very well. I have nothing bad to say to, uh, about it when it comes to its performance. When it comes to the scent, this scent is very relaxing, very subtle. Um, it's very neutral. It says that it has coconut oil and cocoa butter. The coconut definitely reads through, whereas the cocoa butter, to me, in my personal opinion, um, really doesn't read through that well. Um, this also is mostly to me smells more like coconut oil and or coconut and um, shea butter but that's just me I probably just have a weird sense of smell but it smells really great nonetheless um, so yeah that is my review I really do like this product um, I can't say which one I like <laughs> I can't say which one I like better because I genuinely like them both or I should say I love them both um, I would definitely get this again um, because it's just really relaxing, it's very subtle, um, and it's just, um, it's very neutral. If you don't want anything really, really loud lingering on your hair when it comes to the scent, I would definitely want to try, I would definitely suggest you try this out. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's creamy, um, it's, I still get a pretty good slip through my hair when I use this product, even though I don't necessarily need it. Um, but it's just a really nice moisturizing conditioner to use. It makes my curls pop, and yes, it leaves a white residue on my hair, but my hair is wet when I use it, and even when my hair is dry, I don't put a whole lot on it, but once my hair absorbs and dries, my hair is fine, and I'm fine too. So, that is my review. I'm almost at seven minutes. I didn't mean to be this long, but yeah, this is my review in comparison of the two Garnier Fertis leave-in. Um, if there is something that I did not answer in this video, go ahead and leave those questions in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and I will be back with more videos to come. Bye, you guys.